Hello, welcome to a Zatu and Board Deck and Dice unboxing stroke comparison video. Today we're comparing the uh, original Spice Road to the Gollum edition of Century. Uh, at the moment uh, I own the Century Spice version because um, that's part of a planned trilogy of games which the Gollum edition isn't at the moment. However, there was no plans to bring the Gollum edition to retail so, and here it is. So. Uh, it may happen yet. Theme wise, looks wise, I do prefer the Gollum edition from the boxes. It's all very similar. Right down to the wordings, explore the markets, trade and improve your offerings and sell the score. Sell and score and here it does say about the trilogy which is missing on the Gollum edition. So let's take a look inside. The single player, player rules, single side rules, sorry, double sided rules. Ah, now okay. Instantly that is much better insert anyway than the Spice Road one because it has a plastic case to keep all the gems in um, and that is just much more, much better thought out. The coin's there and when you put the cards in there is a bit of room for growth as you bend compared to the Spice Road one which has the same rules and as you can see my ones are spilling over the top. I do have a few promo cards in there. The money is down here. Uh, to be fair they do stay in the pots but I would have much preferred a setup like this where there's a actual plastic case over the top to keep everything secure while it's on the shelf. Um, there is room under there, I don't know why I don't put the coins under there, maybe because they make the cards stick out even more. Um, cubes versus gems, well yeah, gems are, gems are cool aren't they? And these boxes are <laughs> a little bit cooler than the bowls and seem to not overflow quite as much as the other ones. Card wise, I think you're going to see very similar stuff to what's in uh, Spice Road but with different artwork. Let's get these open. So we have the caravans. Okay, so the caravans are a bit better in terms of defined spaces. I mean there's more artwork here but I quite like having the more defined spaces. Let's shuffle through those starting cards. Yeah, this artwork is much more uh, my kind of preference. A bit more cartoony, a bit more kind of Disney, I guess. These are the ones that let you change things up to get used to a different colour scheme as well. One of the only uh, ones that lets you do that in the game. And then these are cool. So those are kind of those ones and if you're not familiar, oh just smash the camera with my chin. With the originals they're much more kind of, I don't want to say dry, they're obviously done really well but spice and history as a theme versus kind of a fantastical world is, uh, yeah I mean, <laughs> you boy with the strange blanket wrapped around your t-shirt. Yeah, I much prefer the, the other artwork. So essentially what you have here is the same game. Um, if you go through the cards, you're gonna find the equivalent cards just redressed uh, to the other theme. Let's see if I can find the equivalent 12 pointer there I guess that's the equivalent. So the same two cards in terms of um, rarity of spice and stuff. Double check that with the... Uh... So yeah, pink is the rarest, brown is the rarest, blue is the equivalent of green which is confusing because there is a green crystal there and yellow is the same. So same game, 
If you're going to get just one, it really comes down to a choice of how much you are invested in the Trilogy system. Like I say, at the moment, as specified on the Spice Road box, this is part of a Trilogy. This is standalone. Um, so if you're not bothered about the upcoming um, Eastern Wonders, I believe it's called, or Eastern Road um, game in the Century Spice Trilogy, then this one is the nicer game in my opinion. They've both got the metal coins, the insert and the way that's set up alone <laughs> makes me prefer it, sad as I am. But the artwork as well is better for me overall. Uh, if you're wanting the trilogy of games, then Spice Road is where it's at. Both very good playing games because they both play the same. Um, other than that, what you see is what you get. Thanks very much for watching uh, this Zatu and Ball Deck and Dice unboxing stroke comparison video.